Okay, so you guys are running the uh, new operating system, the Windows 8, and you would like to go back to the classic start menu like on the Windows 7, Windows XP, or even Windows Vista. And I'm going to show you a program that you can do this with, and it's absolutely free. Typically, the other ones charge between $5 to $20, and you have to go through all these like settings. This one here that I'm using now, it was really easy to install, and you just use the, rec you just use the default settings, and it pops up just like this. You have your run or search right down here, and it looks exactly the same. You have your oh, your program files. I can go my MS Office or anything on this side here. You have a computer or my computer. You have your documents, your control panel, um, and your restart, shut down, log off on here as well. So like I said, it's free, and I am going to uninstall this program. I'm going to show you how to reinstall it and where to get it. Okay, so I just uninstalled it. Now you can see when I click on the Start menu here, I get the original uh, Windows 8 start screen. Okay. Now in order to get the free program, what you want to do is go to this website here. I'll post a link on the website on the bottom in the description, but it's on uh, MajorGeeks.com. And when you're on this page here, what you want to do is where it says uh, download locations. You don't want to click on the, any of the ads or anything, okay? So click on download locations. And then also make sure you follow me through the setup because you want to uncheck some things so that um, uh, you don't get any additional software loaded onto your computer. The only thing you want is this, uh, this start menu app. That's all you want. None of the other bloatware that they want to put onto your computer. So give this a couple minutes to uh, to download. Okay, that took like a few minutes, but now it's downloaded. Now it bring me up to the screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and install this program, and it's by uh, IOBit. So I'm going to click on yes. And... And then from here, we're going to go on, click on next, accept it. That's fine. Default location, that's fine right there. Give this a few seconds to run. Okay, now from here, what you want to do is you want to uncheck this. You don't want to install any of this other additional software, advanced system care, you don't need it. Take it off. It's going to end up putting like um, ads and stuff in your computer. So uncheck it and then click on finish. And now this window will here will pop up and pretty much just leave it at the default setting. Just click on OK. Now, once I click on the start menu, there you have it. So you have all your programs here. Everything's there. Now, as you can see on here too, I don't have, uh, if you want to pin something into your start menu, like I want, to, I want to be able to access like Google Chrome always right from here. What you can do is you can just drag and drop it into your, your start menu. Oops, hold on. So I'm just gonna drag this and put it right in here. And now once I click on that, there you go. So it's pretty simple. Any questions or comments, just please comment below. Thanks. Bye.